Hi guys, so today is a beautiful day and we have started off slightly early than we usually do and we are off to a beautiful place which is called Panchkani It's a 5 hour drive so we really need to rush but it's going to be good fun guys So we have finally reached our um, hotel uh, which is the Prospect Hotel in uh, Panchkani and it's a heritage bungalow guys it's beautiful it's beautiful we relaxed a little bit we had our lunch and we dozed off and we have finally woken up now to explore a little bit of the property and enjoy our evening tea now yeah Hi, so we have finally started off from our Prospect Hotel in Panjgani to uh, shoot the sunrise at Sydney Point. It's 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, Sydney Point is about uh, 10 minutes from our uh, place and uh, uh, we have no experience, no reviews about how the sunrise is going to be. We have just searched a little bit on the internet and asked a couple of people and some people said that yeah, Sydney Point may be a good place to see the sun sunrise. from our uh, morning shoot of the sunrise at the Sydney point and it was beautiful beautiful River's gonna cry when you're gone Great, so we are off to uh, uh, explore some restaurants in Panchkani and some eateries. Uh, we have heard about this place called Lucky and it's a very iconic place. Um, really don't know if they serve lunch or not but we'll figure it out and let's see how it goes. So we went to this 
iconic place called Lucky, but unfortunately it was closed. But another thing that was on our bucket list was to get some uh, flavored chana from Dhananjay, and we got it. See. They are exciting flavors, guys, and they are so amazing. Yes. They got some makhanas also. They've got some chocolates also. So you can, um, yeah. uh, you know, taste and uh, choose from whatever you want from yeah. these places. So I got one hing jeera um, chana and one chili cheese chana. And now this is uh, this chocolate is gulkan chocolate, which I'm going to have. Let's have it. You know, any trip to Mahabaleshwar Panchani is not complete till the time you have visited the macro farms. So this was our quick lunch from Mapro Gardens. Yeah, we had a lot of fun at Mapro's. It was the good old taste of the sandwiches plus uh, the, uh, the shake that we had. We really loved it. So we are at the Harrison Point and it is one of the table lands of Panchagani. Panchagani is surrounded by about five table lands like this and it is so beautiful. You can actually see the whole valley behind us. Uh, it's mesmerizing guys. You can come here, spend some time, uh, enjoy the view and just immerse into the beauty of Panchagani. So we are here uh, at this beautiful place which is called the Prospect Hotels in Panchagani. And guys, this place as you can see is mesmerizing. It's so beautiful, it's so stunning. We can't even tell you how beautiful the place is. Uh, thankfully and fortunately, we have Mr. Sharam who runs this place and he is here with us um, to talk to us a little bit about the property, a little bit about Panchagani on an overall basis. How are you doing, Sharam? Uh, well, good. Um, I am now part of this property. I was born here wow. uh, and I am the second generation and uh, there is a big, I mean there is history behind this property. It is uh, the first hotel that was opened in Panchkani. Oh, it definitely is. It was yes. started in 1912 as the first hotel and uh, we've run it since 1961. How lovely that is guys, uh, imagine staying in a place which is such long a history, you know. Uh, so, uh, tell us more about the property, uh, Sharam. Yeah, uh, so basically Panchkani is a, it's not only a touristy place, it is also an educational center. So you have yes. today about uh, 51 schools and in those days uh, people uh, used to keep uh, you know, uh, used to have their kids sent to the boarding school That's and right. when they came here they needed a place to stay and so uh, we helped them with that and the tagline uh, as you mentioned said, says the hotel that made Panchkani a tourist destination. Oh yeah. yeah. So it really helped uh, the tourists when they came here and uh, I've got bills that date back to 1945, wow. uh, which was I think 6 rupees 25 paisa per person per day. <laughs> and this included all meals. Wow. Yeah. wow. And uh, we were among the first 10 telephones in Panchkani. And our telephone number used to be 9. <laughs> and it's, it shows on the bill as well. Wow. Telephone number 9. Just yeah. one digit. Just huh? one digit, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so it's got many, many, uh, you know, historical twists yeah. to the property. Uh, it, this, this place was selected because this is the highest spot in Panchkani. And you have mm -hmm. the tableland as the backdrop. Yeah. And you could actually see the valley in the front. 
But ever since, uh, you know, they brought in these huge silver oaks, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, these are Australian oaks and they have kind of covered up the valley now. All right. So we can't see, uh, we can't get a view of the valley, but still we are the highest located hotel. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You can come here, spend some time, um, chill out at the property, enjoy yourself, immerse yourself in the beauty of Manjigani. It is so amazing. Thank you. Yeah, we look forward to seeing you. Hey guys, so this video was all about our stay in Panchgani at this beautiful property called Prospect Hotel. We just had an amazing stay, guys. It is a beautiful place, guys. And Panchgani is one of the places that you should not miss if you're staying in Bombay, Pune, or any place in Maharashtra. It's a good weekend getaway for all of you. So do check it out. Also, if you like the video, please give it a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We keep coming up with lots of travel related content like vlogs, itineraries, stories from all across the globe. So don't forget to subscribe and hit on the like button. This is Runa and Gaurav signing off from Wanderlusting Couple. Keep traveling. Keep exploring. Until we meet again. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Hey, I was hoping you would stay, but I've always known that you would go find your own way. So to feel the wind and watch the river run And the sun would always shine When we sat there, you and I The river's gonna cry when you're hurt